Hello friends, this is Nalin, your 3D modeling fan. Today I'm going to show you how to model a flower vase and with some flowers in Maya. So I'm not going to talk too much today, so let's jump into it and let's see how to do it. Let's do it. Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a flower vase with flowers in Maya. And we're going to see some quick ways to do those things. We're going to see the north's ways to do the vase and we're going to see paint effects to do the flowers. So I have an image here. So this image I'm going to not exactly do these flowers. Basically I need more time for doing these things. So I'm going to do this pot and then we're going to do some other flowers. So I need to take this image to Maya. You can take any image from internet. So let's copy this path here and let's import that image so i'm going to import that to my front view here go to view image plane import image and let's paste that path here so that we can bring that image and from here it's very hard to know yeah this one select okay this one let me think this is fine let me scale this image bit and let's move I'm using this move rotate scale to position it let's position it here and it should be at the center you can see this deep black line which is the center of the origin here or grid so make sure this image is not like this not like this it's kind of almost center even yeah that's fine so here i'm going to use the curve and revolve so let's go to create and curve tools and here i'm going to use cv curve tools cv stands for control vertex so let's bring this cv curve tool and i'm going to start from this corner so let's snap this here with x i can snap to any grid points you can see i have okay with x just snap and then i need a straight line here i i'm not going to follow this curve if i do that it will give me a kind of no it will give me not a flat shape so i'm going to create a flat line so i can hold shift for that i put the second point here third point here fourth point here and then one point for the corner then that side corner i mean the supporting and the corner is at the center and there then again i want to reach this corner so let's go to reach that corner and let's put one line close to that it's very hard to know the curves there because the brightness of the image we could have done like decrease the brightness so here you can see i have i have some no steps kind of going on here so just follow these details and here you can see i'm not putting too much unnecessary vertices like this just put the necessary ones here and here i need a corner so wherever i need a corner i need to put you know at least three vertices two supporting and the actual corner the supporting will hold that corner otherwise it will make you know, smooth line so let's and wherever it's smooth curve i tend to put those vertices a little bit you no know, distanced i'm not putting too close to each other it will give me a very like wavy kind of uh, non-smooth object so let's put a little bit distance and here again i need that corner here and this is kind of a golden kind of you no know, border kind of design then let's just follow the image here and again here i want kind of corner you can see closely how i'm putting these vertices and now I'm not going to like follow the image here like this it's going to fill the top part so actually I'm going to just think like you are actually following the shape inside okay and this is the thickness let's say and 
again i can stop here and i can like put a clay layer for the flowers let's say the clay are inside so we don't have to do it inside just you know, put it there and i can do like this like let's say this is the level where the flowers are going to come we can do that let's do that actually and now here i'm going to snap it so let's stop here and press enter to actually create the curve and now i'm going to curve control vertex mode by right clicking and let's select this and hold x and then move with this axis to reach that or to snap that line okay so this is the curve now i'm going to use a tool called revolve to actually get the model let's you know move the image backward so select the curve and let's go to surface here and make sure you have set to modeling here so that you'll get this menu surface it's a north tool so let's go to revolve and you get that you know base by revolving that curve 360 degree and here i'm going to put some you no know, more section let's say 12 to you know, get a good loops here or a little bit dense loops okay so this is the ways and from here i'm going to actually detach this clay area so let's go to isopan mode by holding the right mouse button isopan select let's say this line and let's detach it from this body so let's go to surface and detach okay so this is the body and this is the base for the uh, flower and now it's also set to the you no know, uh, history so make sure you don't have the history so select the object and go to edit delete by type history sometimes if the history is there you can see how it can affect the model so let's select this object history as well so let's go to edit delete by type history so now you can delete this call we don't need it anymore and now we have the base and i just need to give it a color let's say let's right mouse go to assign favorite material and this time i want a very shiny ceramic kind of material which is kind of you no know, pot material so for that i'm going to use fong fong is a very good material for that it's it, it's a very very smooth material and let's go and give some color to it maybe some blue color or which color do you like just put that color okay and i'm going to like create some flower so select this one and go to generate menu here and inside here make it a paintable object first so click on this make paintable so now it's a paintable object and now i'm going to get some brush to paint so let's go to get brush okay so it opens the content browser and now i'm going to browse the paint effects here now let's find some flowers so we have some groups or folders inside that we have some brushes 3d brushes you can say these are basically models and we can like choose some flowers from here let's say this flower select it and you can see now the brush is showing the red circle that means it's a paintable object because we did that first and then we got the brush now i can just drag you can see to create those meshes now paint effect is very fast to create some objects now i got some flowers let's say i want bigger flowers it's very small compared to the vase so i can do one thing i can increase the brush size to actually get the bigger mess so let's increase the brush size by holding b key and then holding and dragging the left mouse hold b and hold left mouse drag to actually increase or decrease the brush size and then you can release the key and then just drag to actually create the brush or the meshes or the objects you can see i have a little bit bigger then let's make it a little bigger and then you can see i am creating some uh, flowers here and i can choose any other flowers as well to combination like make it a little bigger or smaller i can even put grasses okay so just experiment with different brushes let me let 
let me increase the brush size okay something like this let's say you can see how oh, it these flowers are looking kind of black it's because of the normals so let's go to lighting and turn on two-sided so if you render you can see if let's say render you can see it's totally black because of the unknown renderer we need some we need to convert these things to polygon in order to render with unknown so now these are paint effect objects so mental ray v-ray arnold can't render these things only maya can render if i change the render settings to maya software let's say and render then i can render these things and you can see i can render i can render the paint effect with maya software but we cannot use arnold to render if i want to you no know, render it with arnold then i need to actually convert these flowers to actual polygons so we can do that by going to modify and convert and here i can convert paint effects to polygon so let's find out paint effects to polygon go to option box make sure we have sufficient poly limit here otherwise it's going to delete some flower pieces so let's see if it's work so let's apply and as soon as you apply you can see it no like the colors or textures are gone but the textures are there actually you need to press 6 to see it it can refresh okay now you can see we have some polygon pieces here and now we should render it but i think we need some lights as well so we don't have any lights here so we can take some lights let's go to arnold actually and create some lights let's create area light I'm not going to light it now just to show you if it working and let's put some exposure here to the light let's 10 sometimes it needs a lot of lights let's see you can see the flowers are kind of no anole is rendering those flowers so thank you very much for watching this video hope you learn something it's a very basic tutorial I know i'll see you in the next tutorial please let me know if you want to see any specific tutorials please like share and subscribe my channel for more and to motivate me to continue